many of us have, have worked for a, a big company before that has, yeah, like, you know, a ton of onboarding stuff, right? And when you started a company, you're trying to figure out where things are, who to contact for what. And this is just a perfect kind of like HR assistant chatbot, which can help expedite onboarding if people are joining a company new. And I mean, that's just one use case. There's just infinite use cases with this. Hey, what's going on? My name is Ross Flutterjohn. I'm a former developer turned content creator. And now I'm building my new startup, Stammer.ai, in public. And a part of this build in public mentality has been able to talk with customers as much as possible. When we started Stammer back in June of last year, one of the first things that we immediately implemented was a weekly office hour session where anybody could join if they had questions or ideas or feedback on our product. And this is something that we've been doing consistently every single Tuesday since then from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. PST. And there'll be a link down below where you can join. We've recorded every single one of these meetings and then uploaded it to the Stammer YouTube. But in this week's office hours, I did a live demo where I integrated a AI agent into a Slack channel. After I did this demo, I had a lot of people asking me if I could record a version of that demo and then post it to my YouTube channel. So without further ado, this is one of the best ways that you can show the value of AI agents that's in a completely different way aside from how you would typically embed it on a website. This is going to be one of those integrations that you can use to upsell AI agents to your customers in a way that no one else is doing. Here's the clip. What I'm about to show you is going to be a full run through of a really good use case that a couple agencies used that we talked about last week. They immediately turned around and used it as a use case to sell to a business. Those businesses are using Slack for their internal team. When they have a new customer support VA, a new team member to come in who's interacting with customers. So for example, a SaaS company like ourselves, who's using like a fresh desk to manage their support tickets. They have an internal Slack where all their team members are asking questions to their managers or whoever about, hey, you know, I'm not quite sure about this. I need some help. Wouldn't it be great if you could make an AI chatbot that knew all the stuff about your business that the VAs could ask, and then it would provide them templated answers to not only help them understand what the answer is, but how to respond in the way that you would like them to respond. This is a use case that a lot of people have been asking for, and we're able to build it out extremely easily. <clears throat> so this is that example. And just a quick overview, this is essentially all that is really needed in order to build this out. So we're doing this in Zapier and we're using our native stammer.ai Zap or app, Zap app, whatever you want to call it. This is the quote unquote non-white labeled version. So like if, if you're an agency and this customer never needs to know that you're integrating with Zapier in the back end, then this can be a super easy and simple option to, to do. To get started, we need to make a bot. And in this case, I made one that is scraped off of all the documentation on our documentation. So I, I went in, took the URL, scraped the URL, and now all the characters, all the text on all those pages are now trained by the by the bot. Notice I have this enabled auto scrape and auto train website every 24 hours. So now every time I go and make changes to our uh, Git book, which is our support documentation, that will automatically be updated by the bot every 24 hours. If this has not been enabled, um, I would highly recommend enabling it because it's a great feature. This also now works with public Google Docs, public Notion boards, any sort of public data or public website um, that you could access without a login or need to, you know, provide credentials, the scraper will be able to read that data and then again, update it on every, any, every 24 hours. So a use case that we had a, a lawyer, um, uh, a lawyer client of ours, they're, they're reselling an AI focused law advice bot and their team is not so technically enabled. So instead of them having to go in and manually update files or update stuff on a website. I just said, you know, hey, go paste in your Google Doc. And then if you have updates you want to update, just go paste them in your Google Doc. And that's it. The bot will automatically take care of everything else. So they were like, oh, that's, you know, that's great. So trained this bot on all of the data from the knowledge base. The prompt that I used for this exact bot can be found. You go into our docs into the prompting section, prompt examples, base system template. 
This is the exact copy and paste version that I used. And then I went ahead and filled it out for Stammer. So I, you know, business name, I put in Stammer. And, and this is because this is a bot that I'm creating for our internal VAs who are helping with, with support as an example to, for this use case. So if you were making this, you would fill this out with the name of your client, for example, and what they do and what their unique selling points are. And that's essentially what this prompt is. And it's just very simple and straightforward rules of how this bot should act and engage with users when certain questions come into play. And that's basically it for the setup of the bot. We're done. So now we're going to embed this or integrate this with a Slack channel. So the trigger is going to be new message posted in the Slack channel. And in this case, I have, an, I have the example up right here. So I just made a channel called AI Chatbot as an example. We're making sure that this is only going to be triggered for user messages, not bot. So it doesn't respond to itself. That's pretty, that's, that's key. And then this step, this is a filter to say, I want to make it so that it only responds when I'm tagging it. So if I, you know, if Tim and I were to come in here and just start talking to each other, it would not respond to any of the messages that me and Tim are, are saying. It's like, Tim, if you want to go in there real quick and just, you know, say something. Yep. This is so that way you can kind of structure it where it won't be unlimited responses like with everything. It, it's only targeted. So it will only respond when I'm actually saying what it, when it should respond. So it won't respond to that. And that's because of this. When it goes through this filter, when it is tagged, I'm now using the Stammer app. I'm going to connect it by entering in my API key. And if you want to find your API key, you can go to account API. And that's this value right here. You can just click copy to clipboard. You're going to paste that in and that will allow you to connect it. And then you need to paste in your chatbot UUID. And so you're going to go into the chatbot that we just created. And then right in the right-hand column right here, you said chatbot UUID. And this is the unique identifier for this, this individual AI agent. And so now we know that this is connected here. The query is going to be the message from Slack. And the user ID is going to be the user from Slack. And this is all just native information in, in this integration. This is the step that will both take in the message from the user. It is then going to send it to Stammer to generate the response. And then this action also then receives the response back. The result is the actual answer from the AI agent in text format that we can then send back in the final step back into the channel. So if I go in here and say, what's the A record for DNS? Live demos are always fun. But there we go. And so now this is like a, a very kind of, I don't know, simple-esque use case that anybody could kind of replicate and build out and then offer to a client as one of your ways to position your offer to become that more irresistible offer. You know, hey, we'll integrate it into your Slack so that way you, you and your team have an internal bot that knows everything about your business and all that good stuff. So... I mean, granted, I, I kind of glossed over a few items there in terms of scraping or copy and pasting the base system prompt in there, but taking that stuff into consideration, you can make one of those AI agents within an hour very easily, and then be able to deploy it and start testing it to see kind of, you know, how people respond. And when we showed this to people initially, this is one of those things that, you know, collectively we, as people that are, you know, maybe more technical, it might not be that like, oh, amazing, but we showed it to some agencies and they were like, are you joking? Like we can, we can have, like it blew their mind. And I was like, you know, to me, it's just like, oh, that's just kind of a thing, you know, but like from their perspective, this was a complete game changer.
So it's always about like how we're positioning this stuff. And when we position it with something that a business is already using, they're already familiar with it. And now they're, we're enhancing it with the white label AI agents. It's an easier way for them to see that initial value. And then it's an easier way for you to uh, sell it. Justin, is there anything I missed there? Is there anything you want to add on that? I, I think one immediate use case, I mean, I'll, many of us have, have worked for a, a big company before that has, yeah, like, you know, a ton of onboarding stuff, right? And when you started a company, you're trying to figure out where things are, who to contact for what. And this is just a perfect kind of like HR assistant chat bot, which can help expedite onboarding if people are joining a company new. And I mean, that's just one use case. There's just infinite use cases with this. Um, so yeah, when I first saw this, that was kind of my first inclination was an, an HR onboarding bot, but yeah. Uh, yeah, tons of use cases. A lot of the a lot of the use cases and a lot of the stuff that we've always talked about is the customer facing example, which is embedding the AI chatbot on a website. But this is a complete alternate use case that can be sold just as just as easily. That's pretty much it. If you have any questions, there's going to be a link down below to the Stammer Discord where you can join, ask questions for free, or there's going to be a link for the office hours as well where you can join that and then join next week's meeting and. Ask a question there. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.